So for anybody who's not super familiar between the differences between the X300A or the X300B, um, whether that be the turbo model or the ultra model, um, the A model has a lever latch, uh, which simply when you mount it on your gun, all you have to do is pull down, it locks into place. Um, makes it easy, quick and easy to come on and come off the gun. Um, I know some of the complaints people have is that uh, they say that the these have been known to fly off guns um, It doesn't lock up quite as tight. You do have a little bit of Little bit of, of, of movement that's allowable um, Nothing that's too crazy. It's never bothered me uh, and on top of that. I have never had one of these fly off of a gun before so um, You can take that uh, as as you want um, you know uh, the TLR one has a thumb screw design also that allows it to really tighten up and it won't back off but if you do have an a model um that is the difference between the a and the b again the b has a thumb screw versus having a simple latch in there and the way that it secures it down is that this plate right here is held in by these two rails that are screwed down or secured down by these three screws um, and it comes with if you, in your package you're going to get a couple of these different plates there is a p which I think stands for Picatinny, and then a U, which I believe is universal. So the Picatinny, um, Picatinny obviously has a, uh, there's a tolerance to it, certain widths that it needs to be. Um, and the universal, uh, if you have something like a Glock um, that has a little bit of a narrower slot in it, um, it, it allow you to mount your light up, uh, whether whatever gun you may have. So what I recently came into uh, an experience, uh, both of my Surefire X300s um, are, are the A versions, and um, when I recently got this Lone Wolf Distributors TWF frame, uh, in order for my X300 to sit where it needs to sit, which would be right there, um, it wouldn't it wouldn't lock down. It wouldn't lock down with the Picatinny because uh, it does have a narrower narrower slot in the middle where the it should pick up. Uh, when I swapped it over to the U, um, it was loose. It was really loose. Uh, and I was like, well, crap, right? that's not going to work. So I um, started looking through the package, and I know there's other plates that come with it, um, along with other rail pieces. And, of, and all the different clocks and handguns that I've had and tried to put on my X300A, uh, I would have no problem. I could either use the P or I could use the U, and I would use the lever latch, and it would be no issue whatsoever. But when I put it on... Uh, the universal lever latch on this frame it was really loose so outside of the typical little bit of wiggle that you get I mean it rattled around on the gun a lot so um, started actually reading through the uh, user manual on the uh, that came with the light and figured okay so some of these extra pieces that I saw I noticed fit in here a lot more secure so reading through it come to find out that you have two different options you can go with uh, when you buy an A model um, it may be the same way with a B model but I'm not sure because I've never owned one um, but you can have the le lever latch like I mentioned uh, slides on your gun picks up the rail underneath this plate there's a coil spring that applies upwards pressure and that's which once you put it on the gun causes it to lock in you hear that snap and keeps it from being able to come off the gun and then when you want to pull it off you have to pull against that spring compress it to slide it off so rail lock rail lock is the other set of option or the other option that comes with um, the x300a and come to find out and i have never ever come across this or seen any videos on it heard about anything in the forum so for anybody else out there that may have another type of gun uh, that the um, your light is, is really loose on and rattles around, or maybe even if it is just kind of like a standard um, and you don't even like that little bit of movement that you get with the A models, uh, you may want to explore the option of going in and putting in the rail lock system. So how the rail lock system is different um, is you, know, you don't have uh, these plates here or, or the, the, the standard plates that come with it. Um, you're gonna remove these two side rails right here by removing these six screws. And once you pull this off, there's a new plate here that hinges and you're gonna remove the spring that's underneath there because you're no longer gonna use it. And then underneath here, there is a little wedge lock um, and 
first off, um, let me let me backtrack a little bit. Uh, you're going to see that the um, the the levers here look a little bit different. And so while now instead of having these spring loaded up and down, you're going to pull these back to allow that to slide out, and that's going to allow you to put this onto the gun. Um, again, and even with these here, you have different uh, sizes. You got the universal and you have the Picatinny. So now when you go to attach this, you will slide it on the gun. You'll push that back in, which now locks it on the gun. So with this particular frame, the, even with the lever lock going with the, the, the universal plate, I mean, it was really loose, not just forward and aft, but you can, I mean, it wiggles all around so what this allows you to do is now that when you lock that under the gun with the wedge piece that you're going to install underneath the plate there is also a, a tension screw here the wedge as you tighten the screw will apply upward pressure to the frame and onto the grabber rails and you just only need to do it so tight till it stops uh, they, I think they say no more than four inch pounds um, but it allows you to really tighten up the light on your gun and as you see here there is no more uh, movement at all even the forward and back has been limited quite a bit so that is an option for you guys out there that have uh, a model lights um, this is pretty much a since I wanted to run the my Surefire X300U on this lone wolf frame this ended up being a lifesaver for me because as loose as it was before um there's it would just be completely unusable it was, just, it was so loose it was just ridiculous so again now if you want to go ahead and remove it what you're going to do is take the tension off the screw which will allow you to pull back this tab which then frees up the rail key uh, and by design it is limited on movement so you can't slide this piece all the way out that's simply as far back as it will go see it's kind of notched there to stop so you can't pull that all the way out and that's how you end up removing the light so a little bit uh, of extra steps um, in getting your light on and off uh, but again it beats the heck out of having uh, a, a really loose light onto your gun so hope that video uh, helped somebody out and if you liked it please hit the like button um, add some comments I love interacting with you guys uh, share the video um, tell your friends about it uh, definitely appreciate all the uh, subscriptions uh, that I've been getting uh, along with the feedback so uh, today is New Year's Eve 2022 last day last day of the year uh, tomorrow we're rolling the 2023 and hope it brings a uh, a good year for everybody so thanks for the views thanks for watching have a good one